Top of the morning to everybody. All right, I've been wanting to do this lesson for a little while now. I am in Motion 5.1, and I've got a title, and I want to do something fancy to it. Here's my title. I want that to have fire in it. I don't want it to just be white. I want it to be filled with fire. After all, Beavis says fire, fire. Okay. So here's what I have. I have a really cool firewall, and I want this to be inside the text. Look at that fire. Isn't that cool? So let's do this. Here's how we do it. Right click on the firewall layer. Make sure it's the layer you're going to map. And you're going to add an image mask. And then with this selected, you can see a little box right here. We're going to take our title and drop it in that box. Now, anything we type on this title changes the, the map automatically. All right. And it's motion. Now, this looks really cool. This would be awesome on like You Don't Know Jack or something like that. But Let's say I were to have a background that was kind of dark. Oh, you know what? It goes really well with this. So that might not work. So let's say instead of blue, um, let's mess with this just a bit. Let's make it a little more orange and red. There we go. All right. That's kind of hard to read. You can still read it, but it takes, I don't know, it's difficult. So I want to create a blue outline around it. All right. So I've got two methods. The first is to duplicate this layer, make a blue outline and make the layer transparent or make the face of the font transparent. Okay. So we're going to do that first. Duplicate the layer, turn it on. It's white. Turn the face off and turn the outline on and change the color to whatever color you want. Now let's go with a brighter blue. Now let's go with a let's go with a real rich blue like that. There we go. And let's make this two. All right. And it animates with it and everything because it's a duplicate of the same layer with all the keyframes and everything. So that's much easier to read. I can add things like an outer glow. I can add a drop shadow to it. Although the drop shadow kind of makes it weird. If I were to put this layer behind the image mask layer here, not on it, right there, right there. There we go. I think I accidentally masked it. Yeah. I did that by accident. Okay. So if I were to put it back here behind it, and then I were to add the drop shadow, it would give it a little more three-dimensional look. Although you wouldn't have shadow if you had fire burning behind you, would you? It still looks pretty darn cool, though. Okay, here's my issue with this. If I go in and I change this to George instead of Beavis, it doesn't change everything. I have to do it twice. Let's turn that layer off and do it here. All right, so I have to do it twice. Even if I'm doing it in Final Cut Pro, I have to do it twice. I can't just do it once. But I really want to do it once. I want to be able to do this in Final Cut Pro anytime I want and be able to change the name of whoever's saying fire, fire today. All right. So here's how we do that. Now, this is a little more complicated when, when we get down to it because there's more effects and filters added into it. All right, so we have this. What we're going to do is we're going to make a clone layer. So you right click and you go make clone layer. You can also just hit the letter K. 
Now a clone layer is not a text layer. So I cannot come in and change any text information on there. I can add a drop shadow. I can do some other things to it, but it's going to remain white just like this because it's a clone of this original. It does not have the text, the uh, firewall on it at all. So here's what I need to do. I need to come in here and I need to add an outer glow to make it have that outline around it. So I'm going to come here and go to glow. And I think this outer glow, well, that's no, not one that I created, but it's within motion. And I'm going to turn this blue. Let's do that blue. Let's do another one like that. There we go. And we can mess with the radius and things like that so it looks good. Okay, now I'm going to go to my keyers because I need to remove the white. The best way to remove the white is with a Luma keyer. Now it's trying to do this backwards, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to invert the Luma keyer. And I can see that information. And I'm going to bring my dark luma roll off up a little bit so that you get more of an outline and it looks pretty good anytime i change this it changes automatically with the clone layer but now we have another problem the clone layer does not animate with it see the separation So how do we do that? Well, how we do it is we come in here, do Command-8 to open this up. Let's select all of our keyframes and copy them. And let's go back here to the clone layer and just paste. And it should animate exactly both of them together. Now this way, if I save this as a Final Cut Pro title, um, I would be able to make sure that that is animated every single time. And all I have to do is change whatever information is here and I'll have the fire fill, I'll have the blue outline, and I'll have this, the words that match and everything animated all together. All right. Now, normally if I was doing something like this in Final Cut Pro, um, I would not have this other background on there. I'd leave it just like this so that whatever background I stuck on there would, would have this on top. And there's my effect. Pretty neat, huh? I think it's still a little bit off, but you can tweak it and mess with it and make it, make it fit a lot better. All right, so that's the uh, lesson on how to... It's what's called a track mat. It's how to make a track mat or an image mask um, out of a video using text. And some other little features to kind of make it a little more interesting, make it pop more, make it separate more, um, things like that, so that you can make sure that you have everything you need in order to make this happen and make it look good. All right? So, again, leave a like if you like this video and or if you learned anything from it. If... Um, if you have any questions about Motion or Final Cut Pro and you feel the need to ask, go ahead and do so. Um, just leave a comment for me or leave me a personal message and I will do my best to make a video of it so that other people can learn from it as well. All right. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching.